Okay, here we have our mugs all mounted up. I have all the wires ready to go. I'm going to show you how to wire orange mugs. And I'm going to show you uh, the pathway the electricity is going to take for the FCI. For our plugs on our lights. Alright, to wire this box, the first thing I do is I get all my grounds together. And I line those all up. And get them ready to wire up. And when I'm all lined up, just like that. And for the love of Pete, use a wire nut on your grounds. That makes it so much easier if you have to add to it or take your box apart, add a wire, take a wire out, replace a wire. And it makes a good pathway for the electric. Suck your ground wire into the bottom as far as it'll go. Um, the next thing we're going to hook up is our white wires. All of our white wires can hook together in a box. But in this box, um, we're not going to do that, but normally all your whites can get hooked together and all your blacks can get hooked together. But since we're adding a GFCI to our uh, post lights, the power is going to come through the yellow wire. And it's going to, there's a white and black, it's going to travel up to our plug. So, what we want to do is make sure our, we use both the same wires. So we put our two whites together. Like I said, normally you would Connect all your whites, connect all your blacks as a junction box. So they get hooked together. Now when you hook your when you hook your um your blacks up, because this is the power coming from the house, make sure you hook it to the black that's in the same wire as the white. Because we want our GF side to work properly. Okay. Now, power's going to our plug. Power's coming back out of our plug into these two wires. And we're going to send that out to the lights GFCI protector. You know, I forgot to grab there, guys. Hold on. The ground is the most important part. I can all the way in. Okay, now the power coming back from the plug travels through this black. So we're going to need to wire that black into the wire that goes out to our lights. And that'll protect our plugs out there with the GFCI protection. So we're just making a pathway. And same thing. The white wire going out to the plugs is the same wire coming from the DFCI in the same jacket. Okay. At this point, um, I'm going to tuck all my wires into the box. I always go with my whites first, because that's usually what you have to troubleshoot is the blacks. So the blacks go on top. Okay, I want to say a little bit of my box size too. 
and these, uh, I believe this is two and a quarter. I usually use this for four and five wires. I, I hardly ever use anything smaller than this size box. Four inch by two and a quarter, I believe. And you, you can probably get a bigger box or put an extender on it. They do have smaller boxes. The only thing I use a smaller box for is a wire in and a wire out, and that's it. I never use those for anything else. Well, basically, the fill in your box is common sense without getting into a lot of my, how many conductors are in or out. It's really all common sense as far as make sure you have your wires uh, staple close to your box. Um, don't crowd your box. Don't shove too many wires into it. Make sure it's loose. And if it's not, put a box extender on there. And that's how you wire up a uh, orange box. And I showed you the uh, circuitry to hook up our lights, the GFCI for our lights. Now normally if you were doing just a porch plug, I would recommend... Okay, here's a close-up of the wire in 4-inch box. The rods are on the bottom, then the whites, and then the blacks. Use wire nuts on all your wires, save the ground. And the next thing we'll do is put a 4-inch cover plate on that. But that's pretty self-explanatory, we don't need to look at that. And there you have a wired 4-inch box.